Hello, Georgia Burns here. Welcome back to my card making. Today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty card. I'm making a few thank you cards now to thank people for my gifts, Christmas gifts. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Today's date is Sunday the 27th. So day after Boxing Day. Alright, to make this card I've used a stamp set that's available on the 5th of January forever and always and I'm using this little stamp here and I'm also using for the big flower Tasteful Touches and I'm just going to use that flower and I'm also using Textured Essentials and I'm going to be using this I think it's bark, tree bark but I'm going to be using that so let's do our cards which is the normal I have a card blank of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half and I have two pieces of white card at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths I have another piece here at five no one inch by that big. It should be three and seven eighths to go over the top of that. And I can just trim that down. And I also have another bit that is half an inch and this is for the um, sentiment, thank you sentiment. Obviously we'll cut that down once we're stamped on it. So I'll keep them out, put them over there. So first of all we want to, with some scrap of white, stamp the flowers. Now I've already cut my flowers out, but I will stamp another one because I do have a few thank you cards to make. So with that, Highland Heather, my big stamp from Tasteful Touches. Um, stamp that just down there and then the one from forever and always we want two of them like that now you just need to cut these out and that'll be that I'm not going to cut them out just yet I've got more ready cut out here. So that's the end of that one. Right, with your inch piece, I'm going to get a scrap of paper because I'm going to go off it. And the smoky slate ink, because that's what I used. And this, I'm sure it's tree bark, that's what it looks like to me. Ink that up in smoky slate and cover your one inch piece. I won't bother with that bit because it'll be cut off. We'll put that to one side, finish with that. with my black and my little thank you. This thank you has actually come out of a really old stamp, Baby Bear. I was looking for a, a thank you and that is where I found the one I wanted. Little thank you. Put that to one side. Get rid of that. Right then. We're now going to, from tasteful touches, we're going to use this branch with old olive and the branch stamp. And we're going to stamp one down there. 
I'll just write it to tutor's side like that and then we're going to do two up here like that that's all we need that for don't worry about the mess in the middle where it all meets because that will be hidden by that and obviously the flowers just make sure I've got enough greenery showing yeah so we'll stick this piece down first down nice and straight and then we'll just trim these ends off Now with the flowers we're going to put up on dimensionals so I'm going to put three on the big one and two on the smaller flowers going to feed the smaller flowers just underneath it oh, like this one move that over And we shall stick this on our card base. No, I didn't do anything inside. That's just so I can write my thank you message. Right. And all we've got left to do is put our thank you in there. So I'm going to cut that there and there. I'm going to flag the end. Let me see if I got this right. And this also went on dimensionals. And I use the mini ones for that. Oh, that's why you 
use this bit. Tuck it under. And that just leaves us some gems to put on it. All right, I put one there, one on there. And one down here. Since I started gluing these gems on, they um, don't fall off. I'm not finding bits of gems all over the place. It's only the heat of the house that makes them fall off. And there we have it. One pretty thank you card. Or two. Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.